Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave and we're continuing our playthrough of Combat Volume 1 by Compass Games and we're doing uh, the farmhouse, attack on the farmhouse and we're getting ready to start turn 2. So, uh, first thing I want to say to everybody is I apologize for my poor camera work in the first video. Uh, I didn't do a good job of keeping the angles. I get caught up in the game and I make the rookie mistake as a camera operator of not following what I'm doing. I kind of caught up moving all my stuff around and I'm not showing you guys what, what I'm doing. So um, I'll try to do better on this one. As I said um, in the, at the end of the first video, I'd go ahead and, and set orders and do all those things. So I've done that. So we'll just go through real quick. Uh, the first thing on the uh, sequence of play that we have is um, you place your card for your initiative. Uh, the card I chose to do is called Poured On, and it is all friendly characters in C team, Charlie team, have plus one weapon skill this turn. So I went ahead and played that one. And then uh, I played that one, then I placed my orders. Um, so down through here, uh, you can see I have. A uh, sneak order, a sneak order, aimed fire, aimed fire, aimed fire, a sneak order, aimed fire, aimed fire. And then as we get up here to the top of the board, this is such a big map, but it's great. Evade, 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 and a sneak. Okay, so that's all my orders. Then I drew the German um, going down the board, so blue. He got a 29 for his initiative. Red's got 85, white has 11, and yellow has a three. And then on the Germans that got orders, this uh, blue German here, he's hiding in the hedge. This one, white, is doing a run and gun. This one is doing slow suppression, and he's doing aimed fire. now. He pulled the suppression order, but because he has a KR-98, it's a slow weapon, so it automatically goes to it automatically goes to slow suppression. So that's what he'll be uh, using there. Okay, so that's the setup. Uh, so the first term was basically a bunch of moving and spotting and nothing really happening. So now we're getting ready to go into the second turn, and we'll see how um, things go. And I. Apologize for the glare right there from the light, but it's such a big map and I have to use my plexiglass to keep it flat. That's what's creating that from the light above. So please uh, bear with it um, as much as you can. And like I said before, uh, we'll move the camera around some here uh, to show as we're going. Okay, so um, we'll just come down here a little bit. So here's the initiative, uh, the way it's set up. Uh, it goes yellow, white, blue. Charlie, Baker, Red, and Abel. Okay, so that's the order. We're on turn two and we're in impulse one. All right, so let's get started. Let's not waste any more time yapping about it, right? <laughs> and let's get, uh, first one is yellow. So we work top down, left to right. So we're looking for yellow down through here. Uh, this is a, a white. Um, way over way over here there's these two are double stacked a red and a white so the first yellow is right here and all the trees and the rocks he ha and hedges he has no line of sight so he's still waiting over there so it really brings us to um, this yellow and he has slow suppression so he has that order is a zero uh, for the first impulse. So he does nothing. Okay, so now we go to white Okay, the first white is here. He's trees are blocking anything that he could see um, and So he's uh, waiting uh, he doesn't have anything going on um, These guys don't have line of sight way over here on the out here on the farmhouse they don't have line of sight the walls and the orchard uh, so we come down to run and gun and he is his order is run and gun six so he goes in direction six which is that direction so he moves 
and he moves into the stream and when they move into the stream or any heavy obstacle they immediately change their order to duck back so now his order becomes duck back so he's not going to move any farther he's going to become a hide over there okay <clears throat> this white he can't see anybody yet uh, the rocks block um, the trees the orchard block so uh, this this uh, white right here he's not able to spot they can't see with all the trees okay so that's white now we come way up the board again there's a blue he can't see anything this blue he can't see anything um, to hear the, the edge of that tree uh, blocks him I do believe we'll double check that and see get my trusty string out here we go here to here and the edge of the trees block that so I can't see him he can't see me he's in the hedge he's in the hedge he doesn't see anything that was white and there's no other blue so that's the end of blue okay so still not a lot happening we had a finally had a movement we got a guy getting ready to lay down some suppressive fire so we go to charlie now charlie is plus one on the weapon skill so we're going to open fire he can spot right there so he's my first charlie he is the medic it's private connor and he is a weapon skill of three he gets plus one for this turn so that makes him a four range is one two three four five six seven which is a zero on the <clears throat> weapon card of a m1 grand it's a zero modifier he is hide in the hedges which makes him a minus three against my four so i need a zero or one on my die roll so here we go five missed Okay, the next guy is right here. He's also firing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is Private Meeks. He also has an M1 Grand. His weapon skills four, makes him a five, minus three for that. So I need a zero to two. Oh, three, just missed. <laughs> okay, we're doing a sneak so he doesn't move. We have aimed fire. Um, let's see where he can see. Don't know if he can see here. No, the corner of that tree is blocking him, so he can see down to here now. So that's where he's going to fire. One, two, three, four. Got that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I need to bring my camera down again. Right here, aimed fire one two three four five six seven okay so we have a seven <clears throat> again he is a grand so that's a zero modifier he's a five makes him a six and he is suppressive fire in the rocks so suppressive fire in the rocks is a minus two against a weapon skill of five. So I need a weapon skill of six because I had one. So I need a four or less. Six missed. Man, <laughs> need those hits. Okay. Now I have Private Mahoney has an M1 Grand, one, two, three, four. He can fire there. Range of four is still a zero. And he's a duck back in a depression, which is a stream. That's a minus one. So he has a four. this guy right here he has a four 
modified to a 5, 0, and minus 1. He needs a 4 or less. 9. Ugh, low ammo now. Okay, so when you roll a 9 on your ammo, then you get a low ammo counter. If he rolls it again, he'll be out of ammo. So he fired a lot of rounds. And now he's got low ammo. Okay, my last Charlie is clear down here. This is Private Lorenzo. He's doing a sneak, so he does not move. Okay, now we go to Baker Team. Baker Team is way up there at the top of the board. So I have Baker. He's doing an evade. And I have Baker here. He's doing an evade. And I have Baker. He's doing a sneak, so he does not move. Okay. He can't see. They can't see him from the house because of the trees. And the trees are blocking. So nobody's able to spot him. The trees and the orchard block him. So they just can't see each other right now. Okay, so that was Baker. Now we do red. So he doesn't see anything. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's waiting. And he has aimed fire, so he doesn't do anything on this turn. Which brings us to Abel. So back up here again with Abel. I have an evade. He's going to move. Trying to get him across there without getting him killed. He's been spotted already. And then, down here we have Abel doing an aimed fire. He's got two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to fire here. Now he has a grease gun, M3 grease gun. It's a rate of fire of three, so he gets to fire three times. His uh, range at four to six is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to use that one. I'm going to try to get this guy before he starts doing anything to me. Get three shots. Of course, the danger of this is you can run out of ammo quick. My skill is five plus one for my modifiers is six. A zero for the range, and he was suppressed in the rocks, which is minus two, so it's a zero to four, and I get three rolls. First roll is an eight, missed. Second roll, six, missed. And the last roll, nine, low ammo. <laughs> okay, so again, that's the danger of firing with these guys okay and then my last able guy he's doing sneak so he doesn't move all right that's the end of impulse one now we had all this firing going on so anybody within 10 hexes of where we fired becomes alerted so we know up here he's more than 10 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 10 so he doesn't hear but here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both of these guys are going to now become alerted. So they're going to get orders on the next turn. We also fired here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he becomes alerted also. So the next turn. So what's going to happen is these guys are going to start getting active on me now. All right. Uh, this can happen again when he fires we're going to go 10 more so it's going to pick up some more so some of these things are going to start happening now so again with the yellow soldier um, he still doesn't see anything now he's doing suppressive fire so he has to pick a target so all these guys are aimed fire in the hedge and he is a he's got a KR-98 and he is a weapon skill of six. And the KR-98 is a four to 12 for zero modifier. So he's gonna, any of these guys are gonna be the same. All these guys are aimed to fire in the hedge. 
So aimed fire in the hedge is a minus one. He's a sneak in the orchard, which is a minus two. So you won't want to do that one and he can't see him. So he's going to do one of these guys right here. Here, let's see who we can see. There, 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 not there. So those three. So because it's all the same, well, he hasn't spotted him. So it's going to be one of these two. So we'll roll a die and one to five, he's going to shoot at the able team and up there he'll go um, there. So he gets an eight, he's firing up at the Charlie team at Private Maloney. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, he sees. That's a zero and he is aimed fire in a hedge. And I said that was minus one. So he needs, he is a six down here. He is a six for his hit, minus one is a five. So he needs zero to five um, firing right here. One, so he gets a possible hit. Okay, so now the next thing we do is we check for a wound. So we pull the next card, he killed him. Holy cow, I lost my first soldier already. Boom, he's dead. Wow, that was fast. We got a friendly KIA right there. Whew, that's bad news there. And he can try to spot right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he's spotting at seven. That's a zero modifier. And he is a aimed fire in a hedge. He is minus one. He's a seven, so that's a six or less. Seven, he does not see him yet. Okay. And he fired. So again, we go 10 hexes back. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. So he's going to become alert. Okay. So the battlefield starting to get active. Okay, we go white team next. We have white up here. He can't whoops. He doesn't see anybody. He's just sitting in the woods enjoying lunch. <laughs> uh, doesn't know what's going on. These guys can't spot anybody yet. Uh, so I get my duck back, which becomes a hide order here. So now he's under a hide order. Uh, they don't see anybody. He just he doesn't have any orders yet. He's still sitting there. Okay. Then we get blue. And you know what I didn't do? Holy cow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not going to redo anything, but I didn't change my... Um, I did not change my order of battle. But yellow, white have already played. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to play them over. I'm going to leave them just like they were. Nothing's going to change there. Uh, yellow had a three. They would have gone first anyway, so that didn't change anything that happened there. And white had an 11, but Charlie team had an eight. So really, they should have gone there, then white. So we've already done white. They, they didn't have anything to do anyway. We'll go back and play Charlie team. Um, Abel's a 26. So Abel comes next after white. And Baker's a 54, and let's see, Blue's a 29, so there we go. So really, man, I got to remember, 
Don't screw that up. It can change the battle. So, okay, so I got to play Charlie team now. All right, so I'm glad I caught that early. I thought, man, that looks like the same order that I was doing. <laughs> okay, so we have Charlie team. He's got aimed fire. He's firing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is impulse two. And you know what I did? Man, man, oh man. All those aimed fires, they weren't supposed to fire. I'm not going to fire them this time. I've played them out of sequence. Man, I get so geared up and wanting to shoot and thinking everybody can shoot when they have aimed fire. Okay, they cannot fire this time. They've already done all their firing. So the only guy that does anything in Charlie is right here. He's sneaking. So he sneaks to here. Okay. Other than that, and this Charlie, he sneaks. So he gets into the rocks right here. Okay. That's the only thing I can do. I did all my aimed fires already. Man, oh man. Okay. I already played white, so that brings us to Abel. I'm glad I'm catching myself up here. <laughs> I really, you really got to pay attention to the orders and what, what, what impulse they do things on. Okay. So I have Abel. These guys, this is Abel. He's in an evade. He moves. He can't see. He can't see anybody. Okay, I have Abel. He had an aim fire. He can't do anything. This is a sneak order right here. He's coming down. And yellow doesn't have a, they've already played, so that's it for him. Okay, so that's Abel team. All right, blue, nothing, can't see anybody yet, still can't see, can't see. Let's see, he did, a, he fired one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was enough to alert him. Okay, so he's alert from when he fired his suppressive fire. All right, so we're going to get some action inside that cornfield pretty soon. He's on a hide order. So we go to Baker. Baker's way up here. So he's doing evade. He's doing evade. And he's in a sneak. So he's actually sneaking into the depression right there. All right, and then we have Red. We still can't see. Still can't see. Still can't see. To check this guy. He might. Yes, he can try to spot right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I believe a nine is zero. Yes, zero there, and he is aimed fire in a hedge, which is minus one. He's a four, so he needs a three or less to spot. Side him, nine, he does not. Okay, that's it for red. He has aimed fire, and I don't know that he has anybody that he's gonna be able to fire at, let's see. Trees block that. Trees block that. Yeah, he's blocked everywhere. So he really, he's taking, he's set up for aim fire, but he's waiting for somebody to move out where he can see him. And he can't see anybody. I got one more I should check up here. Way up here. Oh, he can see him. He gets his aimed fire there. All right. So he's going to take his aimed fire. Once he does, we flip him over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's thirteen. He's gonna fire. He has the KR ninety-eight. So on thirteen is a minus two. We are evade in the open. Evade in the open. 
Here we go. Minus one, so that's minus three. He's a three on his weapon skill, so he needs a zero to hit. Oh, he hit a zero. And when you roll a zero, his, his um, morale level goes up one. So he now becomes bold. Man, he took the long shot and he hits. So he now has a morale level that is bold. And see what we get. Oh my gosh, another KIA. Holy cow. Man, talk about. Wow, that was a medic up there. He's gone. So I've lost two soldiers now. This is not going the way that I envisioned it. And I can tell you, in all my playthroughs on the, nobody ever hit me like that. So here we go, that's the game, right? Take a couple losses. We gotta get something moving up here. All right, so he goes, he's a bold soldier now. That was sold at Young, okay. That's it for the red team. Sorry, just checking, but I think that, yeah, the trees are in the way. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we go to impulse three. We go yellow. Now let's see, this guy fired, so we gotta count 10 back. Wait a minute, he couldn't fire. Whoa, whoa. He was, <laughs> this was the aimed fire. Did I mark that wrong? Yeah, he couldn't see him. Oh my gosh. I get my medic back. Yeah, wow, I'm glad I caught that. He had an evade order on him. Wrong guy. He stays, he's alert, but he does not shoot. What was I thinking? I don't know, I'm glad I caught that. That was a big mistake, all right. Woo! He could have spotted him, but he doesn't need to. He's already spotted, so he didn't have an order. Wow, okay, caught that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so red team, is completed their move. We've now moved the impulse marker to impulse three. And we're back to yellow. Yellow is a suppressive fire. He's a zero. He's not doing anything yet. So he's still sitting there. Now this guy fired. No, he didn't because he was waiting. You're right. So good because that would have, if he fires, he's going to wake up everybody back there. Okay, yellow, then we go to Charlie. So we still have Charlie team. They're, they're not able to do anything. He's a sneak, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. So nobody in Charlie moves. Brings us to white. He's a hide. They still haven't spotted anybody. These aren't doing anything. He's not doing anything. Abel. He's an evade. He's evading into there. And Abel down here, he's an aimed fire. He's a sneak way down here. He's a sneak. He's an aimed fire. Okay, so Abel doesn't do anything. Now we go to blue. We have blue way up here, nothing. Still can't see with the trees. You know what? <laughs> Maybe. The wall's not in the way, but he doesn't have any orders. Charlie could have spotted him, but I didn't do it, so I'm not gonna go back on it. Okay, it's fair enough for everybody. 
Okay, he's a hide. He's they're not doing anything yet. Okay. So that's it for blue. We go to Baker. Baker's up here at the top of the map. He has an evade. He gets into the rocks. He has an evade. He gets into the trees. He has a sneak. He doesn't do anything yet. Okay. And red. Nothing here, here, here. He's an aimed fire, he doesn't do anything, nothing. Okay. So that's it. Now we go to impulse four. Yellow. So he has suppressive fire. And you know what? I got to go back and look at my video because with suppressive fire, the only thing you get is a morale check. And I'm going to check my video. This guy may not be a KIA. I will verify that. And if it's true, I will fix it. So he's going to do suppressive fire to here right now. Four, five, six, which is zero. He's a six. He's aimed fire in a hedge, which is minus one. His weapon skill is six. So he needs a five or less. It's a four, which means I have to do a morale check because he doesn't actually hit me with that. So it's a morale check. So he does morale check here. He is a six or less to pass. He got a three, he passed the morale check. So no effect. So that was his suppressive fire. Yes, I got to review that because I think I may have made a mistake. If I did, I'll rectify it on the setup on the next turn. Okay. Next is Charlie team. He can fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a zero. He's a four. And hiding in a hedge, I believe, is a minus four. I'll look real quick. Minus three. So he's a four with his modifier, so he's a... Zero or one to hit. Eight, he missed. Okay. He's also firing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He is with his modifier five, so he's a zero to two. One, score to hit. Let's see what we get. Bad wound. Okay. So we get our bad wound marker. His morale is a minus three. So he's got to do a morale check for the wound. So he's a zero to two for his morale. He got a nine, he failed that. So when you do this morale check on a wound, he failed it, he drops two morale levels. He was normal. He now becomes shaken. He's got a bad wound and he's shaken. That'll come into effect on the next turn. All right, we have a sneak. He's sneaking into the wood line right there. I have an aimed fire. And that tree's blocked at. He'll fire down here. No problem there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Range is seven. He's a five. So he gets a, makes him a six. He is suppressive fire in the rocks. Minus two. So I need a zero to four. One. Okay. This guy's a tough guy. So the difference here is he has that big yellow T on him. Here I'll show you. He is at T. So he's tough. Which means you got to draw two wound cards and he gets the best one. Unless it's a morale check. Then it won't matter. 
It's a light wound. Because he's tough, he gets a second chance, a bad wound. So it'll be the light wound. So we hit him. So he gets a light wound. He's got to do a morale check on that. So it's minus one. So his morale check will be a six or less to pass. Or yeah, he rolled an eight. He failed his morale check. He drops two morale check morale points on him. He now becomes shaken. Well, that's a big break on that guy. And because he got hit, he automatically changes his order. Would go to duck back, which becomes a hide the next turn. Of course, he's not going to be in there for the next turn. Okay. Now I've got this guy's firing one, two, three, four, five, six. And he is a five, six. Now he's duck back in the rocks. So duck back in the rocks is minus two. So I need four or less, and I get three rolls with the sergeant here. A two. There's one hit. He gets a hit. It's a light wound. Close call. He gets the close call, which means he does a morale check. His morale is seven minus four minus three, so he's a four or less for his morale check. Eight. He failed that one. So he drops another level. He drops another morale level. So he went from shaken. This is really good. He goes from shaken. To rout. So he's in trouble now. Okay. That was the first shot. Now we get our second shot. Four or less. He misses with a seven. And his third shot, five. He missed. Okay. So he got the one hit, though, which is going to drive him back. So that's good. So the tough guy came under fire. All right. Actually, he shouldn't have fired yet, but I went in and did it. We're sneaking here. He sneaks into the woods, but he'll be done anyway when we get to Abel. White, he doesn't do anything. We don't have anybody else. Abel, he's going to evade to the wood line right here. He already fired. He has a sneak order down to here. Okay. So way up here, I evaded him into the wood line. Man, you get everything. I, 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 I set these up like this because I wanted the medics and things with these guys, and it kind of unbalanced the teams. I got to always have to remember that the, you got to mix a little bit, so you got to look for those guys. Okay, blue team, they still don't have anything going on anywhere on the board. Nothing's changed for them. We have Baker. Okay, Baker's way up here. He doesn't evade. Now he can spot. Okay, so he's one hex away. That's a plus two modifier. This guy has no orders in the trees. Minus one, plus two, so I'm plus one. I'm a five, so that makes it six or less. I spot this guy. Four. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it is Soldat Meyer. Okay, so there he is. He still doesn't know we're there. So he hasn't spotted me. Okay, that's going to make it interesting. See if I can kill that guy. Okay, we have an evade. He gets to the rocks. We have a sneak. He gets into, he's going into the orchard right there. 
Or do I want to go into the trees? He's going into the trees right here. Okay. That's it for Baker. And then we have red. All right. This red is going to try to spot right there. Oh, wait a minute. Baker could have spotted for them. I got to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are no orders in a house, in a building. No order in a building is minus three. His range is nine, so that's zero. He is a three, so he needs a zero to see the red one, eight. And he needs a zero to see the blue one. Nope. Five. He missed both of them. Okay, now red. He's spotting me. I'm sneak in the trees. Minus two. So he's at four, so he needs a zero to two. He gets a eight. Does not see me. Okay. This red can't see. He can't see down here. Um, he's going to try to spot this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's aimed fire in the hedge, which is minus one. He needs a zero to three. Three. Okay, he spots him. He's now, they can fire at him now. Okay. That's it for red. That's it. That's the end of turn two. Okay, one of the things that I'm gonna verify, I think I messed this up. I don't think he's a KIA. I think he's gonna to have to do a morale check uh, roll over there. And if that's the case, I'll fix that at the end of this turn. So I think I did better with my camera play this time. This was a starting to be a battle now. We're starting to get movement. We're starting to get guys that are alerted. Um, you know, when we open fire up here, it's going to wake up these guys. So lots of stuff is going to start um, happening. So um, as soon as that happens, uh, then, then things are going to start getting a little more interesting. I'm starting to get guys in position here to start laying down some fire too. So that's all part of this, you know, trying to, trying to maneuver here and, and uh, get in position for these guys. So... This has really been fun. Hey, if you're uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Um, try not to make too many errors on this. Really, this is a new game for me, um, but um, trying to make sure I keep things. I gotta sometimes I just gotta slow down a little bit, make sure I follow my orders, so I do them in the right phase. But where I made my mistake, I just didn't. I, I didn't go back and redo it. I just left it and then took the penalty on it on the next impulse. So I don't think it really changed much of anything. Um, like I said, if you haven't, please subscribe. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you for turn three. Thanks.